Now let's look at solving equations where there's a variable on both sides of the equation. Take a look. We have negative 6a plus 4a minus 9 equals 4 times the quantity a plus 4 minus 19. Now, to work on this equation and solve for a, we're going to have to do a couple of things that you've done in previous concepts. First, we're going to have to combine like terms on the left side of the equation. Negative 6a plus 4a is negative 2a minus 9 equals. Now look at the right side of the equation. There's a set of parentheses here. We have to use the distributive property to get rid of those parentheses. 4 times a is 4a plus 4 times 4 which is 16 minus 19. Now on the left side of the equation, there's nothing else we can do right now, so let's bring down the negative 2a minus 9 equals, look at the right side of the equation. We can combine like terms right here. 16 minus 19 is negative 3. So we bring down the 4a minus 3. Now, we have variables on this side of the equation and on this side of the equation, and we have constants on this side of the equation and on this side. We need to get the variables together and the constants together. To do that, let's move this negative 3 first. We do the inverse, which is to add 3, and we move that over. Negative 3 plus 3 cancels, bring down the 4a, equals negative 9 plus 3, which is a negative 6, bring down the negative 2a. Now we want to get the variables on the same side, so we're going to move the negative 2a. We do that by doing the inverse. We add 2a to both sides. These cancel bring down the negative 6 equals 6a. Negative 1 is equal to a. Here's another one. 1 half times the quantity 2x plus 4 equals 7x minus 1. Again, the first thing to notice is that you have a set of parentheses here, so we have to use the distributive property. Multiplying by a half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So if we divide this whole quantity by 2, we will end up with the next step in our equation. 2 goes into 2 once, which is x. 2 goes into 4 twice. Dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a half. Here's how we worked through that step. Now we have an equals and we bring down the 7x minus 1. Now we've got variables on both sides of the equations and we have constants on both sides. We need to get the variables together and the constants together. First, let's subtract an x here and subtract an x here. Oops. These cancel. Bring down the 2 equals 7x minus an x gives me 6x minus 1. Let's add 1 to both sides. And I've got 3 is equal to 6x. Now if I have 3 is equal to 6x, I want x alone. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. Now if I have 3 sixths on this side, I cancel on this side, 3 6 can be simplified to 1 half. 1 half is equal to x. My work is now complete.